walk through anywhere and never heard one. Yeah, just talk right through the intro there. Feel it? This is the Sweat Equity Podcast. I'm your host, Law Smith. That other voice you hear across the table from me uh, in your ear holes is Eric Redinger. Redinger? Redinger. Redinger. Don't care. Though. Your daughter, Your daughter. last time I was at your house, corrected me, and she's three, four? Yeah, she's four, almost five, but she's, you know, she corrects I know how numbers work. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's, she can be a dick. No. <laughs> well, I, I, I read it. I read your name incorrectly every time in everybody my head. Does. So everybody does yeah, that. Yeah, Okay, cool. I got over that a lot. Redinger? Yeah. Redinger. How do you just... See, now I think that's just... Now I'm, I'm like, you're a little pretentious. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's why I was going to talk about it. <laughs> you. So you've never heard of Wheeler Walker Jr.? No. Dude. All right. So I was just telling my video partners across the hall, 2-8 Monkeys, let's get creative. And uh, yeah, I'd like to throw this people's slogans in there. good. Um, that I, I was like, bro, you have to. He was telling me about this country music he likes. Is uh, one of the owners is a Spanish dude, uh, like literally from Spain, no lisp, but mm -hmm. uh, his name's Hector. And um, he um, he was telling me he likes country music, and I was like, oh, cool. Have you ever heard of Wheeler Walker Jr.? And you haven't ever heard of him either. No, I shut down when I hear country music. No, no, this this you like. So it, it's a comedian. His name's Ben uh, Hoffman, I think. Oh, uh, okay. And he's from Kentucky, Jewish guy from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is already like a pinball machine. Yes, uh, go on. And his songs start with a title like um, Fuck You Bitch, uh, Sit on My Face, uh, okay. Fucking Fighting Fartin'. Yeah, that's okay. Now but you got me. No, okay. Now, here's where you'd think it'd be a Weird Al thing, right? Uh huh. Not at all. The music is fucking amazing. He got like Merle Haggard's like backup band. He got like the best producers in the world to mix it. Uh, for someone who likes audio and editing and all that stuff, you, you might get a boner for it. Yeah. It's like really good songs, and the lyrics are just kind of adult. I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> just because it could be funny or, you know, it's, weird, it's it doesn't mean it can't be good. Yeah, his last one's, uh, he just came out with a new record, I think, and it's, it's called Summers in Kentucky is the song, and it's like, yeah, I'll, we I'll used to hook up, and now you're gross. I'm getting a pen. Okay. Write it down. Oh no, I'll, 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 I'll look. I'm gonna tap oh, away and ever know. Yeah, no, no. Y you know how I do. I'll just bomb you with a bunch of texts randomly. I'm like, this is what I was talking about, bro. Yeah, do it. Um, Wheeler, Walker. Maybe I. He seems attainable. Maybe we can get him on the podcast one day. Um, all right. So. You are going through some changes. You're going to be a, m a, a female soon. <laughs> uh, no, you're, uh, you're – we've been talking about Wim Hof, the Wim Hof stuff on and off for a while. Right. I didn't know how into it you were until I started seeing you do a lot of pictures. For those that don't know what it is, explain all this stuff. So I'll tell you what I got. So I like to prep a question, then answer it to give you a little time mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. think about it. Uh, I heard this guy on Joe Rogan's podcast, like, I don't know, three years ago, two years ago or something That's like where that. That's I heard him. And he talked about, like, he's the Iceman. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, he, he can, like, go under in, like, frigid water. And what it does, and I, I've heard Dr. Rhonda Patrick on, his, on Rogan's podcast, too, talk about doing this cryotherapy kind of style of freezing your body so hard that it, it shocks it almost right to the point where it helps your muscles relax and somehow helps your brain a little bit neuro neurologically yes. so you kind of that so basically this guy is from ha he's holland yeah, he's dutch yeah so uh i don't like that holland and dutch don't sound similar i know 
He should be in like the Netherlands. He should be like hollandaise, hollandaise sauce or something like that. Like, don't say bad, anything bad about Wim Hof. How dare you? I don't. I love. I dude. I I've told you like I love Wim Hof. I'm I down know. to do it. Yeah. You're gonna do an ice bath, not ALS challenge. <laughs> yeah. Everything should just be a- ALS challenge for you. I mean, I think the ice bath itself could actually cure ALS. Oh, whoa, that's I big claims. That's just me talking wow, about I was like, oh, what science do you have there? Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, well, dude, there's a lot of science that backs this up. Drop it, drop it, drop it like it's hot. So, so the, explain what it is, because I didn't do it. The good method ex- itself, it's it's like a three part uh, deal, and it's I don't know how else to put it, like a personal wellness program, if you will. Um, it involves a specific breathing technique um, combined with cold therapy and sort of meditation concentration stuff, which turns into a big part of it. Um, it so, like, back in the day, like, my dad played pro football, uh-huh. right? The first thing you do is you go take an ice bath. Uh-huh. I feel like that's been around for a while. Why right. is this any different? It, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 just that the the research is now catching up to show like you can measure endorphins or whatever you want to measure in the blood oh, afterwards. Really? You know, via PET scan or whatever they got. You know, they have all sorts of new stuff that they can. A PET scan? Well, the PET scan they use to determine the amount of brown fat somebody has in their body. Bra- what? All right. So let's back it up. Brown fat. What is that? Brown fat is something you have a a young child that yeah newborn he's got babies, a lot of fat yeah they're born with a lot of brown fat which is it allows you to uh create heat from basically nothing you you're able to burn this brown fat which increases your body temperatures rather than uh shaking or or whatever okay so like uh you haven't eaten in a while your brown fat's gonna burn off first right uh well no <laughs> I mean like it's, it's gonna it's gonna insulate you it's separate from metabolism I mean it plays a part in metabolism it can okay as you get older it goes away okay Pe- old people have little to no brown fat and you know except it, for it, Hawaiians right right one hundred percent yeah brown fat. <laughs> um but he Wim Hof basically figured out a way to um, suppress your shiver reaction that you would normally get when you're cold Mm -hmm. and transfer it to your brown fat reserves and you know it you need to build up your brown fat reserves by doing ice bath and cold therapy and cold showers okay is is a way that you can get used to the because the end game is you want to be you want to be in the cold water for four minutes if you can and Mm -hmm. and that's when the uh the anti-inflammatory responses kick in uh How, how long can you go I, I go four minutes what? in like, you know, you're already there. Yeah, it's because, dude, it's not everybody can do it. I'm right. the poster boy for being a bitch in the cold. Like, I, that's what got me. I was like, I saw that. I, I like, saw that in Utah. There's a poster of you. Yeah. As I came like, in. Don't be this guy. It was it, it just had you two thumbs down. Yeah. Like, oh, sad face. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I was like, all right, this guy says anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it because. Yeah, Born raised in Florida, we're not used to this. That's true. You know, I, I, I always thought that was weird too. Like, I had a buddy from Alaska um, that went to call. He was one of my roommates, and uh, it, when we were in Auburn, which is, you know, it's the Harvard of Middle East Alabama. Yes, um, as most people like to say. And so, you know, he would. Uh, <laughs> he would get so ma- like perturbed, basically, because people would be like. Well, hey, this cold ain't nothing to you, boy. And he's like, "No, I, I'm still a human. Right. Like, it, it that goes away after a while." And I remember when I lived in California and would fly back here, I, it would take, I wouldn't be used to how humid it was here because mm-hmm. your body acclimates, right? And you forget how it can adapt really easily. So, like, I'd come back, uh, I come from L.A. to Tampa, and I'd be wearing jeans and like a polo shirt or whatever. And I'd be like, oh, my God, this is fucking, yeah. this is so gross. Sweat like, equity kicks in there. Ooh, titular. All right, so so I'm, I'm thinking this has to do a lot with your body acclimating to where it can get to, right? Right. And it's just like working out or any kind of personal health goal, wellness goal. Where exactly. You're going to start out, it's going to suck. 
It still sucks. I don't like getting in the cold water. That, that I'm, sucks. I'm trying to run a bit. Everything you do for the first time sucks. Mm-hmm. Even getting a BJ. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you'll fuck that up too. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, do I tap? Do right. I say thank you? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> what? What? what it, like it's. I can't even remember those days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. As two the married question. men, we're yeah. like, huh? Yeah. What? All right. So um, you live vicariously through Pornhub. And so I'm thinking like, all right, what do I need to do to get this? Or do do you need to explain a little bit more about right. it? So the two physical parts are the breathing and the cold. Um, the breathing itself is a very simple cycle where you're doing deep conscious breathing all the way in. And then you just let a little bit out. And by doing that, you're oxygenating your blood. You're changing the alkalinity of your blood itself, so mm. you're you're able to basically you're going to do the the thirty cycle thirty breaths in and out cycle. So and if you're listening to this in the car, don't do it in the car. Don't do it jogging. underwater. Don't do it anywhere where you could fall and hurt yourself. Okay. Apparently, people pass out from doing it. I haven't seen it, but it could happen. I bet there's some snowflakes out yeah. there. And I should also say that I'm not actually affiliated <laughs> with Wim Hof in any way, <laughs> although I have tried to. Your family. Have, they have some sort of certification that you can do, but it's like, hey, you know, come out to Spain. I think we fly yourself go. out to Spain, and they'll do a, a thing. And it's like, okay, well, let's, let's do it. Fourteen grand, if I want to do this, is that what you're saying? No way, man. We'll go spirit error all the way. <laughs> I just don't think it's worth. Like, I don't That's know what else meditation. they're going to teach me. You know. Then again, I've learned a lot over. You a could year create. I was thinking about this. You should just create your own certifications. I'll make a. I'll do the graphic design. Try, and make yeah, it cross my mind too. And just go, hey, I'm I'm Redinger. Yeah. <laughs> the Redinger method. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, so the breathing, you're going to oxygenate your blood through deep breathing. Then after you start to feel a little bit tingly, you kind of hyperventilate yourself. You'll do a full exhale without pushing yourself, and you'll hold your breath. Mm-hmm. So what you're doing then is you're depriving your conscious mind and body of oxygen and starting to tap into your autonomic nervous system which is what controls your immune system and stuff that you're not supposed to be able to control consciously Mm. but by doing this you are able to do that and it kind of opens up to a whole new way of uh, battling inflammation and all that stuff because your body starts to fight stuff that there's nothing there so it's going to go to the stuff that's that's bothering you, whatever that might be. Yeah. And it'll start, uh, I guess it would be a, a anti-inflammatory protein. I don't know if, they, if that's exactly what it would be, but okay. I'm, not, I'm no scientist. Um, no, you sound like one. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, the, the breathing itself is something that, you can do parts of this. Like you can do just the breathing or just the, the cold therapy or mm-hmm. just the kind of meditation stuff. And there's benefits to it all, but when you combine it together, you're really able to take it to another level. Um, I used to have really bad allergies, like anything, oh, any sort of immune system You got rid stuff. of your allergies? Dude, I don't get, like the, the pollen drops, it doesn't bother me anymore. That might be the title of this, How to Get Rid of Your Allergies. I want all the white people. Yeah, to, that's, the no, that's the thing I point to. It's like, Everybody seems to deal with that, and it's not a problem for me anymore. How to get rid of your allergies with Wim Hof cold? <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I gotta get I gotta uh, get the key words in there, man. Right. Mm-hmm. So it comes down to a lot to also the the con- concentration part of it, where if you believe that it's gonna work and you focus on making it work, mm-hmm. it works. And the science is there to back that up. But okay. I've had people that I try and teach it to where they're, my mom, my mom kind of oh. fights it. Well, and don't well, start there. I, I start everywhere. Anybody that wants I, to hear it, I'll <laughs> get on top of them and talk their ear off for 45 minutes. But knowing that there's science to back it up and that it will work if you just deal with it. And, you know, because, again, it's like an exercise. It's not fun to do this deep breathing. You're putting in effort. You have to yeah. get into it. You know, right. it's like. It's the not, more you put in, the more you get out. Right. It's not something easy. Like all of it's kind of a pain in the ass. But by doing it, you like get yoga. That. Yoga's a pain in the ass. Yeah, exactly. Like I have a mat over there. I'm like, I need to do DDP yeah. yoga because that's yeah. that's the jam. Da- I mean, Diamond Dallas Page yoga. 
the breathing itself helps with yoga. So they talk about breathing, like breathing. They say smokers are uh, alleviated a lot of the time. And it's not for the nicotine. And it's more of the break from whatever you're doing that mm. you have this ritual of breathing. Right. Because I catch myself, if I'm working real hard and I've got some study drugs going, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I'm in the zone, I, I catch myself like, I'm like exhausted and I'm like, I haven't really been breathing correctly <laughs> for like three yeah, hours. I, that should be, <laughs> you know, part of the, uh, the, uh, unconscious mind should be doing that for you. I don't know. Well, I mean like I'm breathing, but not like it doesn't feel normal, you know, like, you, yes, you should be, it makes you more anxious almost. Yeah. I, you should just not worry about that. You're going to breathe on your own. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it is a steady drugs. like <laughs> turning yeah, in my like, brain inside out, but I'm saying like, I'm saying like it this sh it's a shorter breath that I think over time kind of fu kind of fucks with you a little bit. Well, your body knows what to do. Like it's not mine. <laughs> I it could also be the this study is a drugs T -Rex because the study drugs they Speed want you to up. yeah, well they want you to accomplish tasks. You know, yep. you have like this thing where it's like, "Oh, I got to be doing something." Mhm. Mm breathing. I should be breathing right now. It's like, "Well, that's one of the things you don't have to <laughs> right, worry right. about." You know, so like so, you know, I can I've been there too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So, we're I I, cut, I keep cutting you off. That's fine. So we're at the breathing in the cold. We got to the breathing, right? Right. The cold. Mm -hmm. You get to about. You start incrementally doing it, but you're saying you have to. If you're gonna do it, you have to do it. You can't just go. I did an ice bucket challenge, and now I'm part of this. Yeah. The the cold itself is more of a build up process where he recommends taking cold showers, which to me is harder than getting in an ice bath. Because really? cold showers continuously beating down on different parts of your body, stimulating all these different I've been doing areas. That. Yeah, that's great. Since we talked about it yeah. a month ago, wherever, but like I've been I've been trying it. Yeah. A little I bit. Mean, yeah, that that can be harder. And what you're doing then is you're training your cardiovascular system not to seize up when it feels cold. Like, you want to be able to mm. keep the blood flow going. So, no good. <laughs> what? So, doing the cold shower is not. No, it is good. Okay. No, definitely do that. All uh, right. That's, that's part of the, the, pro the Wim Hof method. It's recommends really tough to beat off in a cold shower. Yeah, Just throwing that out there. You try it in an ice bath. <gasps> Could you make that happen? <laughs> is that, like, the ultimate level? That's the ultimate concentration <laughs> level there. I could probably do it. <laughs> Wim Hof's yeah. like, just li li uh, just leave me alone for a little bit, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna be down here for seven minutes. <laughs> just four minutes in the cold, huh? I, I got the Samsung waterproof phone. I'm good. Give me a minute. Yeah. Uh, no, it your penis pretty much goes inside your body because it's protecting itself. Right. I I said it as a joke, but I was actually thinking like. It probably goes in like my baby son's wiener mm -hmm. that most days. Just right. <laughs> Indentation. Yeah. 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 That's. Is that what, what it's called? I don't know. I just. <laughs> that's oh, just I was how like, I would describe that it. That sounds professional. <laughs> All right. Indentation penis? Yeah. That's a thing. I just call it hidden turtle. Yeah. So the, the ice, the showers, they train you to be able to get into the ice baths and. Normally, when you get into a uh, frigid water or even frigid air, your body's going to shut down the non-essential components, sending blood to your vital organs. Okay. And the uh, the uh, cold showers train your body to not have that seize up response when you're when you hit the cold. OK. And that's why it can be kind of tough to do the cold showers. Um, but, yeah, the once you get trained the ice baths really become easy because you do uh, the breathing as well. And, and that gets back to the brown fat deal where you figured out how to suppress the shiver response and then activate your brown fat, whatever that might be, which I causes a you bad to joke. Right, go ahead. Just say it, get it out. That was, <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was fat Albert's first name. All right, go ahead. Uh, go <laughs> good. Yeah. It was not yeah, bad. Not bad. Was uh, that was the working title for Fat Albert. <laughs> Call him Brown Fat. Brown, <laughs> brown. <laughs> brown Fat. All right. Um, so, yeah, this, this whole brown fat activation thing that he figured out um, really is a cool deal because it's not just keeping your body warm. Mm -hmm. It also can aid in metabolism of white fat, which is what is most is what's on your body. 
your fat, you have white fat. Brown fat is stored like on the back of your shoulder blades. Usually, is Ooh. the way they, they they didn't know until they were able to do PET scans within the last couple of years. What's where a, what's a PET scan? I don't know. One of the scans that they do at a hospital. I'll, I'll look it up while you keep talking. Um, they didn't really know where or how it worked until you know they got into that with Wim Hof, um, and it's one of those things that getting in cold water can actually increase your metabolism. It does increase your metabolism to the point to where you're burning white fat. It converts over and allows your body to burn your white fat, which is... What about uh, white privilege fat? That <laughs> never goes away. <laughs> Sweet. Good, I need Stored that. Stored in your brain. All right, good. Um, so you've been doing this for how long? Uh, like, like a year and a half. year and a half? Yeah, dude. What? You didn't tell me that. Because I thought it's been weird. Do- it's a weird thing. It's it's not well, normal. We, we haven't seen each other because we've got kids. Right. Little, very little kids. So I feel like I'm kind of on house arrest all the time anyway. Mm-hmm. You've got a four going on five mm-hmm. uh, and a two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it, it they suck up a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't feel bad at all. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal. But <laughs> No, but I'm saying like th- that's why we have actually probably talked about it because uh, whenever we do get up, it's usually Party we're going to get crunk. Yeah. Dad crunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I guess – You've been doing it for a year and a half. How how has it changed you physically, mentally? Um, physically, I mean, like the allergies is the number one thing. That's, That's fucking it's crazy. crazy. Okay. Like, anybody who has any sort of inflammation or immune problems, this can help you. Okay. I personally think anybody should be doing it because even if you have a great immune system or whatever, you can, you know, you'll feel the calmness that you know, m- normally an hour of meditation might take, you can get it in 15 minutes. Okay. I got a buddy who studied Ki Jong, which is some kind of Eastern breathing technique. I thought that was Kim Jong Il's uncle that he killed. Oh, he might have. Ki Jong. Yeah. Ki Jong! The, I don't actually know what Ki Jong <laughs> is about or what, how they do it, but he said that after 15 minutes of the Wim Hof breathing, you get what it took hours, two hours to do with this key jong so, thing. It's a shortcut. So a PET scan, by the way. Okay. It um it inspects blood flow, oxygen intake, and metabolism of your organs and tissues. It's most commonly used to detect cancer, heart problems, brain disorders, problems with the central nervous system. Unlike imaging tests like C T or MRI, PET scans show problems at a cellular level. This gives the your doctor the best view, complex uh, systematic diseases such as coronary artery disease, brain tumors, memory disorders, and seizures. This is from Healthline.com. Just it, cool. If anybody, right. I I didn't know. I've had a bunch of those because I had a bunch of concussions playing football. Oh and yeah. So I've been in all those things. Yeah. When I was like, God, it's 15 years ago, but uh, I didn't remember anything being conclusive. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, you're yeah, just yeah, fucked yeah, out just, the rest of your life. <laughs> you're going to be partially blind yeah. if you get knocked out, which is what happened with me. Yeah. Um, so, all right, you've been doing it. You feel no allergies. I want results, baby. I want the ROI on this. Yeah. So, so allergies, um, or do you feel soreness less, I guess? If I'm sore and I get in an ice bath, it's like taking a Vic- Vicodin for the lower part of my body and not my brain wow that's the slogan it's it's what if you feel like you got a lube job inside everything (laughs) everything just i don't know what the best way to put it but there's a reason why professional athletes do this stuff especially football players because it it works you know and it's like my thing is that you know dads who never leave the house how often are we physically challenged or you know it's true it's like an ice bath is the only time when I feel like a legit badass. I've no other people can't do that for now. Yeah. You know, but it, it makes you feel awesome. You know, you, you feel like a badass and there's, there's something to that because we're just, our immune systems are bored. Allergies. Like you think 10,000 years ago, they had an allergic. I talk about it all the time. Guy. Never heard anybody from Africa. Talk right. About al- like al- allergies. Like. Their immune systems are dealing with real shit. <laughs> Malaria. Like, yeah. <laughs> That, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, we're able when you get a little bit of a cold or whatever, the, the sniffles or the 
all the stuff that comes with it is an immune response to try and kill this thing inside you. And a cold is people think it's related to cold, like cold weather and cold like uh yeah. like actual coldness and it's yeah. not it has nothing to do with that. Uh not I, I, I listen to a lot of Dr. Drew, my you friend. You might be right. I for some reason I thought I heard something and I could be totally wrong that they showed that it could be like cold being cold could cause you to Maybe not get a cold, but have some sort of other. I th- issue. Yeah, I. But I think it's like the inflammatory stuff. I think it's it's not, it's not, it's not like a one to one correlation. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, no, no. Oh, I, I go out without a sweater. I'm gonna get a cold. Right. It's not how that works. Yeah, <laughs> and it's not. Yeah, everybody's different. You know that sort of thing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's just our bodies react to stuff that doesn't necessarily need a reaction because it doesn't have anything else to react to and it's it wants to do its job but you know Mm -hmm. it's gonna bust out all these these inflammatory proteins that are causing damage to your body basically so i wanted to try to take like half of this episode and talk about like what this is Mm -hmm. the second half and if you don't want to we don't have to but you talked about maybe trying to make this into a business and we can kind of hash it out and mm-hmm. figure this out. How would this be something you could make into a wellness program? Or we talked about a cryo, maybe a a place, a wellness place that you might start up. Yeah. it's We're not going to give away the farm on everything. Right. But part of this podcast is to go like, all right, you've got this idea, right? Mm-hmm. You've been doing something. You're almost on a zealot kind of way of like. Thank you. It's not a bad thing. I know s- zealots use pejorative. I'm just saying like. You're into it. You believe it, right? right. I believe what we're doing exactly. here. So I have no problem going, hey, we're consulting mostly on the digital side, but we're improving businesses. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a little bit hard on people, but I believe in what we're doing. I'm not trying to sell snake oil. Right. I think I think every kind of good business idea should start from from that organic spot. You're filling a need, but if you're personally invested in it, it helps a lot more. Exactly. Like you open a bunch of yoga studios, but you're not a yogi. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> really tough. Yeah. it's like oh, it's like franchise owning almost. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have a connection to it unless you teach or buy yourself into it a little right. bit. Right. So how would this? How would a wellness center work? Maybe surrounded with this. I think we gotta call it like the igloo or something cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, <laughs> the ice hotel. You know, it's what I was thinking more of a. Because uh, we talked team sim- building, uh, oh. corporate thing where maybe I go to corporations and they, you know, why not both or both? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, but it's so easy. There's very, I mean, the breathing itself. What do you need? No equipment. You know, everybody's doing it. The ice baths. You know, that might not be something you do in a corporate place, but maybe somebody maybe. wants to do that. You yeah, know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's one of those things. You could do that, a gym. Yeah. And I've thought about that, too, going to yoga studios, gyms, and just saying, hey, let me try this, you know, free, whatever, to see how it works out. And if it seems like something viable, and then we'll talk. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, a studio itself would be great. It would be cool. And it wouldn't, there's not much overhead involved in this. An ice maker. Well, we talked about, a like, tub. a sensory depth deprivation tank here, right. too. So I figured those would mix in somewhere. Right. Well, that – I. I had uh, delusions of grandeur starting a <laughs> sensory deprivation float center. Um, Why is that? Is it hard? It's not hard. It's just not completely supported by all of the people in my life who matter. So it's, you know, not in a, not in a bad way. I mean, it's legitimate concern. I definitely you didn't know, think sort you were going to say that. <laughs> I know. I, I thought you were going to say the demand, the market demand wasn't there. <laughs> That's what I've been hearing all about. Don't tell me about it. it uh, um, I, I we could do a test. I bet I bet there's more demand than I think. People are curious. Yeah. I think the it, hard part great. is you got to turn people into people that do it constantly. Yeah. Same with same with the ice bath. Right. Exactly. Right. You can't just do it. I think I'm curious enough to do it, but a, de- a sub- sensory deprivation tank. I think I lose my mind. So I'm scared on that. The float tank's cool, and it does. I was. For some reason, nervous before you—it's weird because you're afraid to delve into your subconscious and what's mm-hmm. what am I going to see in there? What's going to happen? It's not like that really. It's more of just uh, you're shutting down because another time. When do we ever have all of our senses cut off? Right. Never. Right. Like not even you know back in the day. It's not. Do you pee? Did you pee in there? No, I don't pee. You can't pee in there. I don't know. 
I oh, feel like, like I'd lose all control of everything. They uh no, it never crossed my mind. You should pee before you go in. Oh, I don't know the rule. I've never I've never Definitely don't pee at a float tank. Uh, they have to drain all the water out and it's They got to like, shock it like a pool. Did they you poop I in mean it? they use like 800 pounds of Epsom salts in there and what? when they do that cuz you got to be able to float. Do people pee in there? I d- if so you pee in there, it's oh, like... Oh, dude, we call it the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea float tank. Yeah, that's cool. You, uh, you instantly get it. I don't yes. I don't think a lot of people understand. I heard sensory deprivation tank probably 400 times before I really put it together that, oh, it's without senses. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't think people put that before together. You actually listen to the words that describe it perfectly. I, I get, most people are checked out like I am. Yeah, I do the same thing. <laughs> so I'm saying like, if you do something, I'm trying to help you brand it. You t- to talk about yeah. Dead Sea. I, we've got a Dead Sea at our place. I don't know about the word dead in it being such a good idea. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. People are already freaked out about going in a float tank. You were just saying it, it was going to creep you yeah, out. Yeah, but it's it's a niche the within death a niche. chamber no, float tank center. No, but you, you can paint a better picture. Just We just get a bunch of people. Uh, where is the Dead Sea? Um Israel? East of, yeah. Uh, the east, the middle wherever east. it is. Uh, it's near the Ural Mountains. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is near Israel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So we just show a bunch of happy pictures of that. Everybody in Israel is happy. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Dead Sea, fl- that's the name to beat. Let's. Uh, we can beat it. Yeah. A float. A float uh, a cloud tank. All right. Anyway. Anyway. Heaven, oh, Heaven's Gate. <laughs> 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 you enter with Nikes. All right. Um, so what are we uh, – so what are you thinking? Are you thinking a wellness place or are you thinking corporate – I here's what I – here I'm, I'll let you think, and I'm going to pitch my Shark Tank for you. Okay. Um, I think you do both. I think you market yourself as a corporate wellness guy, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to do some team building. Mm-hmm. We've been thinking about it for us, by the way, because they always want corporate comedians. I think teaching improv, if I can get the improv troupe that we have in St. Pete mm-hmm. that wants to work with us on this, uh, they come in because improv is kind of the best thing for team building, too. Yeah. It's terrifying. Right. But I- if you can get everybody on this, it, it's similar to the physical side of this, get everybody down to this low level of like, no fear right without wearing a no fear shirt <laughs> but like but like get batman begins break you down almost yeah. without uh, without this consciousness of like what do i look like right i don't want to seem silly in front yeah. of everybody it's all the same idea you know? yeah <laughs> and then build you back up right uh that i think improv's the best for that and then we talk about like doing stand-up at night this we can mash it up yeah D- you just do the whole day thing yeah yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it's right there. You know, it's different. It's and that's th- these corporations. They, uh, hey, that's weird and different. Right. Nobody's gonna die. Great. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah. You know, it, it's but, and if you actually get some results out of it, like yeah. I haven't had anybody who wasn't like this is bullshit. You know, this is like it doesn't work. Like everybody who does it and and gives it a shot, it it works to a degree. Yeah. You know, they they enjoy doing it. Most not everybody keeps up with it. Whatever. I mean, I do it every day, but. Not everybody has to Are do that. Are you still getting up at four thirty in the morning? Yeah, four. God I'm damn it! Four. Why? I <laughs> no one's out. Wait till that second kid comes along. You have no time for yeah, yourself. Yeah, I know. I'm getting up, going to the gym, breathing, I, all that stuff. I'm getting, I'm getting it in. A, I'm getting up at five thirty, so it's it's slowly it's creeping back. I know. Yeah. It's creeping sucks. up or creeping down. Creeping backwards. I'm gr- like oh, I started at like six thirty, six, five thirty. Woke up at five this morning yeah. on my own. God, it was so depressing. Yeah. Um, and I was still tired. Yeah, but anxiousness made right. me get up. Um, so what what's the deal with the cryotherapy tanks? Like, what's that about? I like, haven't done that. Um, it's like negative two thirty. Same idea. Yeah. Um, but it's like a super shock. It's like. You know, it's d- cold air and cold water are two different things. It's like if you've ever been in 50 degree water, you're like, that's cold. Like yeah. 50 degrees uh-huh. is cold uh-huh. in water. And there's something about it getting on your skin and that sort of thing. And I don't know, cryotherapy might just suck it just as bad as a, an ice bath. But um, 
I think there's definitely two different looking at uh, avenues that can work. But um, yeah, I need to try the cryotherapy if I'm going to be spouting off about these ice baths. Well, look, I mean, it's it's hard to know what's misinformation and disinformation, mm-hmm. right? So, like, you, I know you well enough to know that you'd have a tough time selling this if you weren't really into it. Yeah. And also, like, you wouldn't want to have anybody do this and be, like, super bummed about it. Right. It's just a waste of time at that point. Um, but, like, what can you do to make this kind of something you can – you can teach. That's that was what I wanted to try to figure out. Is you do a wellness center, right? Right. You just come and do the ice bath, but you're you're a guide there because I wouldn't want to do this really on my own to begin with either. Mm-hmm. Right. You're talking about the it, Wim Hof method itself, or yeah, starting a yeah. business with it. Uh, the Wim Hof method. Uh-huh. So if I'm a customer, right? Right. I could draw a, I could draw a bath in my backyard. Mm-hmm. Plus, I think you were telling me like you got to get this certain kind of bathtub, right? Well, I see you post something about that. It's your One bathtub that you at home. Sh- yeah, like I like to get all the way down up to my neck. I want to get my whole right. body in there, you know. And your bathtub at home is we- is just awkward to get everything down in there. If you're sitting up and your legs are straight, right? Then half yeah, of they're your made from. Ma- I don't get. It. What do, I don't know. Why is the bathtub that size? That regulated size? We were just at Lowe's yesterday. They're finally trying to make them like different girthy. Size. Yeah, they're like yeah, exactly. They're making them so that people actually fit in there. In a good way. It's so, but uh, but now you got to refab houses to be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm. But I thought I saw you post something about like uh, maybe this is your wife getting in, like got in all the way basically up mm-hmm. to her neck, and that's kind of the goal. You want to kind of have a bathtub that's you can sit in, right? I guess. Well, everybody's got a garbage can. <laughs> so that's what that was. That was a that was tarp gar- inside really? my recycle bin. Yeah. Oh. Put a tarp in there. That is some redneck Florida yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it works. You don't need it. You know, it doesn't have to be high-tech ice water. There's nothing to it, you know. Mm. Do you have any high-tech ice water? <laughs> I've been looking at They have those, too. They have... Uh, electrolytes? Yeah. I just saw it seeps th- in your body? <laughs> no electrolytes. It's <laughs> silly. It's what your it's, body craves. They have, uh, they have things that you can, like, hook up to... Your bathtub or something. They have ice water things that you can buy, and I just was looking at it this morning, but they don't give you any pricing on those things online. you got to talk to them first. Hmm. Uh, bullshit. Oh, but see, I think just that, just having a place to go. Yeah. Uh, uh, my gym powerhouse over there. They, right. They, they, they let you rent studios. If oh, you, that's cool. You rent, I think you rent a studio inside bigger gyms, mm-hmm. so you're not taking the overhead right. of having like to pay your own internet and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, electricity, but if I if there was a place there that had, uh, that had just an ice bath where there's someone that can pull me out, mm-hmm. or you have some kind of jet ski key pull for like the whole recycling bin, you're not gonna be frozen like a popsicle. You can still use. Your yeah, but what if you what if you hyperventilate uh, for some reason? Don't you don't catch yourself or whatever? Sure. It, it, then it's gonna be it's it makes it that much tougher to get out. Yeah. It's good to have somebody to spot you. I think you should. I think yeah. I, I'd be. Oh, if I was running a business, absolutely. Oh yeah, in you're terms insu- of liability. I, I got all that insurance people for you anyway. Um, but I'm saying like, I feel like you could make. You might be able to make your own bathtub product, cheaper kind of garbage can mm-hmm. that has that rip cord. Yeah. That if shit hits the fan, I can just I can easily Instant pull drain. that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And just no, just like a whole wall just <laughs> just Dump falls you on the floor. Yeah, like a fuck bunch it, dude. Of fish. Yeah, I mean that could work too, but maybe my instant drain might be a little safer for your yeah, but body. I, how would you get an instant drain? I don't know. We're brainstorming. Here. I, that's, I, that's what I'm saying. I, that's why I'm saying a pump just blasted out the side. <laughs> you need a pump. <laughs> I'm saying this is just straight up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Like you're in a big uh, Yeti cooler almost, and then it has this fail-safe wall that if shit hits the fan, you can pull that. You gotta, and then you have a drain on some tile. To be honest, this is something I haven't even thought about. I know. This is what the podcast is about. I haven't even thought that people would be, like, freaked out and jump out because I haven't done it without You're like a hero. (laughs) Yeah, you could say that, really. (laughs) But, like, maybe you're kind of a natural with it. I feel like you catch me on a bad day. I 
I could like. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like I used to be a bitch when it came to the cold, and now it's just I just worked at it, and I'm good now. Like it's weird. I know, but you had some weird self discipline. You got to realize most people don't have that. Yeah, well. and that's where the value of you coming in. <laughs> right. I'm trying to sell you as the thing. There's <laughs> hey, value to you help. being around and helping out. No, that's and that's what. You know, well, I, it's really mindless, which is where you want to be. I'm trying to. I, I've created a Facebook group, the Wim Hof Tampa I'm, face, I'm on it. Facebook group. I want to go to the next party. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna. You gotta call it a party, by the way. Okay. Otherwise, it just doesn't sound <laughs> You'd fun. You'd be disappointed. No, well, look, people what used to a, in my fraternity. They used to call it work parties. Yeah, we gotta go to work. Yeah, it's just like, oh, we're gonna fucking do landscaping for eight <laughs> hours. This isn't. A, uh, oh, me. I'm drinking Bush Light with this. Okay, that's a work party, I guess. Sure, we'll call it a party. Yeah. You want. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're. I'm trying. I have a buddy who has a big piece of property out in. It's in Carrollwood. Uh, north that's of Tampa. north Tampa. We have people outside of the Tampa right? Bay area. Listen north of Tampa. Um, it's the suburby area. Yeah. You ever seen Edward Scissorhands? Yeah. Because that's where it is. It's not <laughs> doesn't look anything like that. Just saying. So uh, that's in North Tampa, by the way. Um. Did, you know, actually Did you know that? What is? The, the Edward Scissorhands neighborhood. No. They filmed Where? here. Yeah. It's in North Tampa. What? I ran a 5K right through it. Where? I was like, what is this? How are we in the set? I'll look it up. Okay. Keep talking. Um, so we had a little meetup where we had a, a few people come out and just uh, kind of ran through the, the breathing technique. And um, we actually had – Nikki and I were out front. My wife uh, – before this whole thing started, and I had seventy-year-old neighbors Dr. walk by. Doctor Nikki. Doctor Nikki. Um, these people who had no idea about this breathing thing, no idea about cold therapy, they decided to come to it. And next thing you know, they're in the ice baths, they're doing the the breathing. They're bought in after a half hour. Yeah. Is this ha- where? Where is it though? I gotta find it, but. I, I see the pictures. I don't want to. But I, I, I drove. I, I ran through it. Huh. It was exciting. All right, keep going. Um, yeah, we've uh, we're trying to do these meetups just to kind of we're not charging anything or doing anything beyond just wanting to teach people how it's done and spread the uh, the good feelings. Pasco County, Lando Lakes neighborhood. That's near where Doctor Nikki works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, th- we, I think you got to visit. Yeah, I had no idea. Like this pilgrimage. is 25 years later. Go on. Uh, if you search TampaBay.com and then search the Edward Scissorhands neighborhood 25 years later, I guess most of it still seems the same. I don't know. The Though whole movie was shot here? Yeah. It's on Mashable. Oh, cool. This is the Mashable. Mm-hmm. I guess Mashable picked it up and then Tampa Bay picked it up. But these are all the houses, and they still have, like, faded pastel colors on it. Oh, oh! I got you. The bottom one is the current. Correct. Yeah, they look like shit now. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> all look like shit. <laughs> but yeah, that's the neighborhood, man. Some of them look like normal houses now, but yeah. It seems like if I went to that neighborhood, it would just look like a regular neighborhood now. In Florida, yeah. But anyway. Will not be visiting. But now you know. Yeah. And knowing's half the battle. Anyway, so I so. How about this? If I were to start doing this, I do. I work on a breathing method, mm-hmm. but what's the frequency of which I need to do this? I can't do this every morning, right? Right out the bat, you got to start me slow, like once a week. I, it's it's fifteen minutes. So whenever you got fifteen I, minutes, <laughs> look, I do eight minute abs, and mm-hmm. that I don't even have time for that right, most of the time. Four minutes. Uh, look nine, at this dad nine. bod. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not doing it. You know, it, as often as you could do it, the better for you it is, sort of thing. Like I'm, there's not really any dude overdosing. Try that, it once. Like, How about try that's it like once? Go for a jog, right? <laughs> right. Then try I, it once a week if okay. that's what you. Okay. So what number do you want me to give say a, here? A, a re- I want a realistic way to do this. Like if I'm all right, there's a Hal Higdon. If you want to run a marathon, mm-hmm. he has a system of like, here's how you do it to get to this point. You need to have that system. Right. If, if it's not there, then you're the Hal Higdon for this for this method, and well, that's something you commoditize, my friend. The Wim Hof method itself is a ten week course well, that I took <laughs> that is laid out specifically. Then tell me that method. 
That's every day. You every do, day? Yeah. Well, that method sucks. Because <laughs> you need it for beginners. Or uh, that's why that's why a lot of people haven't really adopted this. To get people to look, there's jogging sucks and people do it, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people hate it. Some freaks love it. But people know this is good for them. Your biggest issue to get people to come over to this side is a show that there's results you run you're probably going to lose some weight Mm -hmm. feel a little bit better uh you're going to have better cardiovascular effects or Mm -hmm. whatever it is for this it's so new to a lot of people even though it feels like something that's so old school as Mm -hmm. well right but this method the way it's pitched with wim hof or whoever uh whomever uh fucking ads um you have to f- you have to get people in the baby pool first mm-hmm. the baby ice pool yeah you got to dip those toes in those baby toes into the baby ice pool yeah <laughs> gotcha. and not pee in the pool babies. wait i'm losing the metaphor hold on you got to you got to get people in slowly cuz that the, that's the majority of the americans right mm, yeah we don't like doing things that are uncomfortable we like netflix we like processed foods mm mm-hmm. We like a lot of sugar. We don't want to move, man. I want as much gratification with the least amount of effort. But if I am working towards something like a New Year's resolution, Hal Higdon style running, it's like it it starts you off. Just go for a jog like three times a week. You work out. You do like light weights the other days. Yeah. And you take a day off. The thing is, it's it's so simple that it's like one of those things where it's I can teach you this in 15 minutes. You don't ever have to talk to me again about it. You know how to do it. So it's one of those things. But that's now. now I know. That makes it harder as a business. I know know that. But at the same time, it I took I I did it for a year and I was still like learning little things about, you know, specifically. Right. You need to be the Sherpa. Right. I, I need you as a guide. Right. Right. And that's that's why I'm trying to. Teach it for free now. Uh, where if you want to come Kay. out and learn it, you can learn it, and um, you know then it, it kind of becomes on you whether or not you want to. If if you feel the the results sort of thing, and you like want to look at it further, then great. Then I can help you. You can go online. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, but for me, I started one day, and it's you know I've missed a handful of days in the past year and a half. Just because I know what's going to happen. I will so get you get up at 4 every morning. Right. you got to understand the discipline of what you do. Uh, just getting up at 4 is yeah. something so... People just getting up at the same time every day <laughs> is I know. 99% of people, I don't think, do that. Right. So just know that the discipline you've put to yourself, there is val- that's why personal trainers exist. Right. I talk about it on the business sense. I tell a lot of people, when we start doing marketing and operations help, I go, look... A lot of my, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna keep pushing to you. It's gonna sound like no shit, right? Mm-hmm. It. A lot of my job is to a be a therapist and then b, just always kind of go, huh? Did you mm-hmm. do this? Are we doing this? Yeah. How about this? What do we do? Or did you, right. did you eat this? You know, just like a personal trainer might do it to you, a right. nutritionalist. So, there, I think you're you're downplaying the value of what you could provide a lot of people with this. No, for sure, having somebody there to be able to ask questions and, you know, kind of go through it with you is absolutely a big help. Yeah. Um, I, I think it, it could get to a point to where people, then again, I, I do it with my, I have buddies that do it too and we'll get together and we'll sit there and breathe like a couple of weirdos together in the same <laughs> room. And it's, it's weird. It's like, for some reason, it's if you seance. do it with other people and like everybody's on the same wavelength, it becomes more powerful. If you sure. let me be a little, hippy dippy about it well you know, subconsciously it's... you're probably thinking like oh the, everybody's on the same level this is cool yeah it's like a radio wavelength almost. right and um i'm still kind of learning the best way to teach it sort of thing you know where it's it's i don't know if i should be talking during this thing you know or if i should be letting be people do it on their own as we go and um, well like a lot of business it's a lot of trial and error like to yeah. figure out this method to yeah. be for you to be the hell higdon I hope that's his fucking guy's name. Now I have to yeah, look it up. Uh, anybody cooler that I could be? Hal Higdon's the fucking coolest, bro. Mm. Yeah. Is somebody at least heard of? No, he's he's like the man. Look at that. He's got his own Wikipedia. He's 85, does ultras. Oh, yeah. He does look really cool, actually. Yeah, look at that pimp. 
<laughs> look, at, look at that glamour shot, bro. Is he in a bro, coffin? You, He's in a coffin. <laughs> this is He's you, laying dude. down in a coffin, right? <laughs> it's me. It's good pod. Um, <laughs> but anybody wants to look up Hal Higdon, um, he kind of looks like the crypt. He old as hell. Um, but he t- he... He's gotten so many people to learn how to run, yeah. which sounds like a basic thing. I know. Right? It's incredible how much basic shit out there you can be taught how to do properly that makes a difference. Not I, just breathing I, and running. I, like, blame, you know. I blame our school systems. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> uh, all right. So what What can people... You brought this <laughs> whole research we're not even going to get to. Yeah, fuck um, I care. How, what can people do to get started? Where can people go? Um, well, um, something that you could do to ha- actually contribute to Wim Hof is they have a, an inner fire app that has a lot of the basics on there that you can, and I have nothing to do with that. So it's not me. I think it's like five bucks or something. He just but, gets five bucks every but, time. Uh, that way, you know, me teaching this thing, at least Wim Inter-fire. can get some, some sort of inner I N N E R. Oh, fire. inner fire. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Um, Cause it's you can cold. go on there, yeah. Because he's like the cold is like your friend. F- yeah, the fire comes from inside. Fires from within. I like that. Hey, we got a campfire logo. I'm all about it. Oh yeah. 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 You know, Tampa means sticks of fire, right? No. That's why. We're, that's our logo. Tokabaga. In consult- what language? The Tokabagan uh, language of Kalusa. Tokabagan. Who are those people? The Indians that were here before us white men came and took what them out. The, what about the Seminoles? Uh, Tokabaga was in Safety Harbor and had this whole Bay Area. That's what. Oh, they were like. You've never wondered why this is the name of my company. (laughs) (laughs) I just haven't had the time to to ask. Come to TokoWorks.com for Tokabaga Consulting. T o c o w o r k s dot com. That's my radio handle. Um, All right. So Inner Fire. I'm hoping next time you're on here, you'll have something going on that's a little bit more attainable. Yeah. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to come over what May it's May sixth. What do we say? It's not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Well, I think it's May sixth. This will be this episode will come out Thursday, so it's gonna be a little delayed. That's okay. Um, so It'll that'll be, be May fourth. So the sixth, good. I'm gonna come out. So it'll be the, the Saturday after. Uh, do I tomorrow. wear f- w- banana hammock or what definitely? Yeah, that's what you want to get. Do you wear clothes? I, that's a legit question. I choose question. to. Some people choose not to. Like board shorts, fine. Yeah. Well, if you want to try an ice bath, yeah, we're a uh, we're bathing suit. But I honestly don't expect people to jump into an ice bath. Boom, first time. But at the same time, we the first time I've done. If this, I'm driving to your house, yeah. I'm gonna go do it. It's not it's not at my house. Oh, it's not. Me. Okay. Where is it? It's um. Is it my buddies, if you go on Facebook and go to Wim Hof Tampa, okay, I posted on there the address. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be blasting his address out, but uh, it's a big just, piece of property. Just email me law at t o c o w o r k s dot com law at Toco Works. Well, I'll give you all the. W- should I have written that down? No, I I'm, people can backtrack fifteen I'll, I'll, seconds I'll. and listen. But okay. if people in the Tampa Bay area want to get involved on this, I'll try to help you filter some of the crazies <laughs> out. Yeah. Uh, send me your info, and you can come party with us on a Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, freeze your nuts off and freeze like crazy. You'll feel good. I'll afterwards. try to bring my wife and baby. You should, so they can see their dad go. <laughs> 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 and no, I'll you, probably you forget. Won't, you won't. I'll forget a towel. I'll, I'll get you straight. You don't need a towel after. You, you don't need you a towel. Dry yourself from the inside. No. No, not right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's how you really. I f- get if I get a towel sick. right away, I feel like a bitch. I'm gonna sit there and be cold for a minute. All right. You know. I'm gonna start. I gotta start working on breathing. Yeah. So, how do, let's end this by breathing out. How do we do it? Well, you would uh, you kind of concentrate on from the stomach up, just fully in, <sighs> as much as you can get in, and then just <sighs> nice and easy out. You don't want to let like too much out. Like you're holding in weed smoke. No, you don't hold it in. It's just a, it's like oh. a cycle. It's a rhythm. <gasps> <gasps> you look like a fish. Apparently, I make really weird faces when I do it. You I do. Re- I didn't realize that until I saw a video of it. You've like, never oh, seen shit. yourself? Oh, man. All right. Keep it going, and then I'm going to keep the outro music. Okay. Come on. Let me just put it really